Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Move tool in the toolbox to resize, rotate, move, and skew the text boxes in Photoshop Elements. For paragraph text only, you can also use the same text tool that was used to initially create the text to also resize the bounding box of the text, leaving the text within the bounding box alone. In this lesson, you will see different ways you can manipulate and move text boxes in Photoshop Elements. To resize a text box for any type of text, first click the Move tool within the toolbox. Then click the text box that you want to resize to select it. Then place your mouse pointer over a resizing handle, which are the small squares at the sides and corners of the text box's border, until your mouse pointer turns into a double-pointed arrow. When it does this, you can then click and drag to resize the text box in either direction shown by the arrows. When you release the mouse button, the text box and all its text is resized to fit the new text box size. For paragraph text only, you may also resize a bounding box without resizing the text contained within it. To do this, first select the same text tool from the toolbox that was used to initially create the text box. Place your mouse pointer over a resizing handle, which are the small squares at the sides and corners of the text box's border, until your mouse pointer turns into a double-pointed arrow. When it does this, then click and drag to resize the text box in either direction shown by the arrows. When you release the mouse button, only the bounding box of the paragraph text is resized. The text within the bounding box remains the same size it was prior to the resizing of the bounding box. To rotate a bounding box, select the Move tool within the toolbox and then click the text box to rotate. Then roll your mouse pointer outside the bounding border, adjacent to one of the resizing handles, until the mouse pointer turns into a small bent double-pointed arrow. Then click and drag at that point to rotate the bounding box. If you hold down the shift key as you click and drag, you will constrain the rotation to 15 degree angles. To move the bounding box to a different location in your image, select the Move tool within the toolbox and then click the text box to move. Then click and drag within the text shown in the bounding box to move the bounding box. Release your mouse button when the bounding box is in the location you want. To skew the bounding box, which slants the bounding box and also the text within it, select the Move tool within the toolbox and then click the text box to skew. Then hold down the Control plus Shift keys on your keyboard and then click and drag one of the resizing handles at the top, bottom, left, or right sides of the bounding box to skew the text. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.